And now breaking news at an 8 on your side investigation. Sinkhole Justice, a couple who lied about a sinkhole to the family who bought their home, will avoid jail time. A judge handed down that sentence late this afternoon, five years probation. Now, this first of its kind federal case started with our 8 on your side investigation. News Channel 8's Shannon Bank and joining us now live from the federal courthouse in Tampa with much more on this story. Shannon. Good evening, Rod. The judge really wrestled with this decision. He called it a very serious crime, but he took into account the ages of Glenn, Glenn and Catherine Jason. They're both in their 60s, and he also took into account their many years of community service. You didn't know there was a sinkhole there? No. More than a year after our 8 on your side investigation exposed Glenn and Catherine Jason concealed a sinkhole claim from home buyers, a judge decided they won't go to prison. I thought it was a very reasoned approach and a good result. Okay, that's what you guys wanted, probation. You think that's the fair That's what I asked for. That's what I asked for. Federal Judge James Whittemore heard hours of arguing from attorneys and called his decision a close call. He spent about 40 minutes deliberating out loud, but in the end said... To put it simply, is it really necessary to take two individuals and put them in prison for what amounts to an isolated instance of wrongdoing? And I think not. The Jasons were convicted by a jury in October on one count each of wire fraud. At the start of the day, the Jasons each faced at least two years in prison, but Whittemore sentenced them to six months house arrest and five years probation. Honestly, no. Just because of their age, they should have been more severe with it to prove that this won't be tolerated. The home buyers, Thomas J.G. and Kelly Magby, are ready for this to be over. Done with the house and moved on to a nice, safe home for my children where they can grow up and make their memories. And we can do good things like we used to do and have friends over and not have to cancel parties because we're worried about a sinkhole. Now, the Jasons also face a 1,000 hours of community service each, and they must also each pay $15,000 in fines to the government. Rod. Rod. Uh, Shannon, what about the victims? I heard them say that they got a new house, but is this judge going to decide if they're going to receive any money or get out of that other house? They actually don't have a new house yet. They are paying rent, so they have to pay their mortgage on the sinkhole home that they can't even live in, plus rent at the other home. So they're really struggling to make it every month. There's going to be another hearing within a month, and they'll decide the restitution there. But the judge did hint very strongly that he wants the Jasons to buy back this sinkhole home and make this family whole again. Gotcha. All right, Shannon Bank and reporting live for us tonight in Tampa. Shannon, thank you.